Aloha, my name is Athena Rose and I'm speaking to you from the big island of Hawaii and I'm sitting in front of the ocean right now enjoying the sunshine and the water and uh, what I'd like to speak to today that's been really on my heart today is uh, how society puts so much pressure on us to perform and to go to jobs even when we don't feel like it with the threat of, of not uh, getting money and <laughs> that we need and um, I, I know that many companies do offer paid time off uh, which can be awesome but there are many jobs out there and situations around the world not just in America where people go to work sick not feeling well in their bodies uh, because they're afraid that they won't be able to take care of themselves or their families and um, yeah I just wanted to speak to that how this needs to be a cultural shift that happens where we support each other and we uh, honor each other's bodies and where we're at and give people time and compassion for nurturing themselves and taking care of themselves. I myself have to do, um, I feel it's necessary and um, non-negotiable <laughs> to uh, do yoga every day and get outside and be with the earth and the sunshine. And uh, thankfully I live in Hawaii, so I get to be in the water quite often. And um, yeah, but it's hard because what it comes down to is this fear of not having enough, the fear of um, not being able to, to survive or have our basic needs met. And um, yeah, of course I feel like this is very well known, but it won't change until we make a strong push in that direction to honor our bodies and to take the space that we need to nurture ourselves and um, yeah and really listen to our bodies it's this disconnect that continues to happen in society and it's really the underpinnings of it is fear fear of uh, not having what we need to live and so how can we change this how can we uh, shift this in our in humanity where we are we surrender to uh, abundance, you know, surrender to abundance and surrender to knowing that we're always taken care of and we always will be taken care of. And, uh, there's uh, suffering on the planet right now, uh, in many forms. And, um, yeah, but one of the ways we can alleviate suffering is to allow people to take the time that they need to rest and rejuvenate and recharge and, uh, nurture their bodies in the ways that, uh, are very best for them and to honor each other's process in that of learning how to tune into our bodies which are these amazing uh beautiful light bodies that house our spirit and are so complex and so multifaceted we we are we have barely scratched the surface of what these bodies can do and uh, how they function and we really don't know you know how they how they work how they operate in my opinion there's so many different layers that we don't aren't yet even aware of and um, I was uh, doing a meditation in the sunlight today and receiving a lot of information from the Sun and um, sitting with the earth and noticing uh, how abundant she is you know and how um, self-aware she is and um, also how uh, regenerative regenerative she is and how she has everything that she needs to regenerate herself within. And we are the earth. We are the earth embodying. And uh, we're not separate from the earth. And so we have that capacity as well to regenerate ourselves and to nourish ourselves from what we have within, you know, and sustain ourselves in that way. So it comes back to the breath. It comes back to presence. It comes back to community, you know, really caring and and reaching out to one another and checking in with one another and nurturing each other and, and showing compassion and, and allowing for each other's process. And this is extremely important. And um, I'm going to continue to hold that vision that humans will come back to their bodies and uh, feel safe in their bodies, feel safe in the world and feel safe to let go and release and surrender and be present with themselves first and foremost so they can be present with others. Uh, that's what it really comes down to, you know, if you haven't cultivated that practice within yourself, you can't do that or have compassion for others that are needing um, to 
take care of themselves as well. And yeah, I hope that makes sense. So I feel really passionate about the work that I do in the world, uh, helping others tune into their bodies and nurturing themselves through uh, presence, through really presence. It really comes down to presence. So uh, the breath is extremely important, like I said, and feeling the feelings that are arising and uh, witnessing them and being that silent uh, witness that observer that's always present, you know, as our spirit. So may this message find you well, and um, may those of us that are um, aware of the imbalances hold space for the balances to be corrected, uh, the imbalances to be balanced, <laughs> essentially, and um, also to have compassion for those that uh, aren't yet there, you know, but we're all getting there together and I have great hope in that and um, Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing your light. Thank you for spreading your light Thank you for being a blessing to yourself first and foremost for taking good care of your body and for listening to your body and for slowing down and honoring uh, your spirit and trusting yourself and cultivating your intuition to do that uh, even better in each moment. Every day is a practice. We're here on earth to learn and to grow together. And uh, we are, you know, but more connectivity, more self-awareness is key. And uh, connecting with our bodies, connecting with our breaths. That's where the medicine is. So may this message find you well. Aloha. Roo.